सारे भाई In many ways, it shows that the old idea that war is politics by other means is outdated in the 20th century. War is hatred by other means. And in this case, hatred means extermination. The First World War was the biggest war ever to date. The Second World War was bigger still. It's no accident in my mind that both of them were marked. Yeah, that is, that is, that is. is the logic of the brutalization of total war. A few found a way to tell what had happened to them. One Armenian woman smuggled out a message in a shoe. I seize this opportunity of bringing to your ears the cry of agony which goes out from the survivors of the terrible crisis through which we are passing. They are exterminating our nation. It's the genocide. Estimates vary as to how many Armenians died. Some cite the figure of half a million others, one million. Whatever the number, the Armenian genocide was one of the darkest chapters of the Great War. In years to come, Armin Wegner would send a letter to Adolf Hitler in defense of the Jewish people. It was a plea which fell on deaf ears. For Hitler had learned a completely different lesson. He told his inner circle, Who remembers the Armenian massacres today? I was 10 years old when the massacre started. I'm now 80. And we were approved from Arabazar and driven down to Eskshire, three days in Eskshire. Then we went down to Konya, right over here. Konya is where we stayed during the massacres and we miraculously survived. If you ask me what I ate last night, I won't remember, but 70 years ago, what happened? And I can tell you exactly, I never forget what happened. And those horrible things that I have seen have made an indelible scar in my beautiful mind that to this day, I cannot I forget it. I remember every bit of it. The soldiers told us, the Turkish soldiers, that it was for our safety 
to move us. Well, they went uh, straight by straight, you know. And they came and locked our doors and sealed it and took the key away with them. And they put us in uh, boxcars. The train took us as far as Afyon Karaisar. From there again, they put us on the train and we went all the way, somewhere near Konya, in the in interior of Turkey. There were many, many exiles from different cities of Turkey. They would have to walk after that. I saw with my own eyes a poor neighbor of ours from Bandarma. She couldn't walk anymore and uh, they took hold of her and throw her into the burning fire. And my father's first cousin, Hagop De Hagopian, lost his mind in front of us. Then we were supposed to be the fortunate ones. Then we went, they put us on train again towards the Syrian desert. From there on, we had to walk again. We have been on the road for five months since we left Bandarma. Just walking, you know, it wasn't that much. There were bodies all around us on the bed, uh, on the side. I saw with my eyes a pregnant woman among us. And uh, because she was lagging, you know, the Turkish soldiers put the sword on her stomach and the baby came out of her. And uh, the mother died there too, right there. We were at the top of the mountain and uh, nobody was talking, they were all silent. Dead bodies all around us, you know, on both sides. We, they won't let us bury our dear ones. We had to walk on continually. That death march was like a column of ants or a huge caterpillar walking and walking slowly. They all knew they were going to die. When the Turks started beating me, the small children clung to me. They grabbed one child from my lap. They sliced off his head with one blow and cast the head aside. We grabbed it and tried to stick it back on the body. The child's body was still twitching and fluttering like a chicken. I'm 
Kariyerle kanşımız kardeşim teknikal konfiyonun kaçın sekizdi. Akili nerede? Kaliforniya Highway Chan Krakan Asol di Anadolu Parikalus kabahten kolonit. Arkadaşım burada bir şat sireli nerede? Madabara bes tarım araç, azar inar dastingi abrilin sançorsi, ampoç aşkar aganades yağav kısanır taru araçin ankut yegan irav çağasparucyan bojri. O da kadar betaf, martaspan talat neru enver neru ya vitihad tut karavurcyan. Naha badras tevat zlakrov. Ur guzeli vochan chatsvel am polch askima koyutuna. Askma oruneli ne kadar va, direk kadar darva kahvede çun. Sakan esor, men kosek. Cishte var men kes milyon hayır zahdebi. Payt am mena garo asuzo gamkov. و هایو هباد کوف کویا ده به تینگ، بدی کویا ده بین، یه بزرگان. از سو این نگاریدر، آن سه زنارتن، آن مرتکاین عید آرکن. سعیم اینش پس پناست از بسه. من کامک، بدی لیمک، موتر. Շադանան։ Çarptan harucun arat hayortiner inç desk boke doçen irens korusta. Kontrol.
Սիրելի բարոմ Պետրոսյան, այսպեսին շակույթ մունեցող ասխը միտի ապրի հավիտյան և ծեր սանդույն ծայնը ընչէ ամբերջ շուրակարջում։ Արկելի մերկաներ, ապրիլյան հուշավեոլի արիթով բյությանը սկրական անսախումպը հրավիրած է պրովեսոր լեվոն Մարաշիյանը պանախոսելում։ Բիդուզ էի կանիմող բարգյանով ներգայաց մեր մեր հարկելի պանախոս։ Պրովեսոր լեվոն Մարաշիյան ձնածևերութ։ Իր բի էի ստացած է ունիվերսիտ ով լինոյ շիկագո։ Եմեյը եմ պիեջդին դերացած է լուսիապայան։ Պրովեսոր լեվոն Մարաշրյան բատմապան է բլնդել դրումիտ կալեջի մեջ, որ գտասավանդ է հայկական պատնություն և ոտ ստուրքի երկա իրավիճակը։ Ինչպես նաև միջին առավերք Պրովեսոր Մարաշիլյան հաչորդը պարը տասավանդած է UCLA, Կալիվոնիը Ստետ ունվրսիտի նորվրջ, լոս անջիլիս կնդիտի կալիջ, աբա տասախոս աձ է երևանի բետական համարսարան, համարսարանը, Հայրստանի ամերիկյան համարսարանը, ինչպես հրավիրված է անքարա մասնակցելու թրկական պատմության դաստնեկ էրորդ համաժողովին։ Այսօր այս ժողովի մասին պրովեսոր ինքը իտի խոսի և դեղողթյուններ բիտա այդ շատ կարևոր համաժողովին բադահազներ է։ Պրովեսոր Մարաշրյան հրադեսիր են և ծանասպուրի կայաններ են։ Այժմ հեմ կարավիր եմ պրովեսոր լևոն Մարաշիյան։ Հնդրեն պրովեսոր։ շատ ու անգամ վեր մեջ մենք վեկանկանդենք, որ մարդիկ կամը գսեմ, որ հայդել հարցի ամարդ կույս չի կա, թրկյան շատ զորավոր է, եվ միջև այսօր մեկ թիս հող չի գրսանք կրավել, եվ միջև երբ իր սպասենք, որ հաճողենք կարևոր հաչոբոտյուներ ունեցած են և ինչև այսօր ունենանք, ադի գուզեմ ասեզատ։ Նաքտը բանաշ գուզեմ ասել, որ այսրովա կիճարաշ մի քանի կտորներ, որ տեսանք, ադի պրոգրմնությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությությու թրմը պատրասված է սերասպանչան մասին։ Անում շատ իրական գերևի, կանի որ տասնի ինին հանեցի ալի։ Ինչու, ուդուսը գնանք, իչ միչեց նել։ Մեր զանազան հաչը ուջներում մեկը ասի է։ I believe that even further discussion on this matter on the Senate floor may run the risk of offending a valued and strategic ally and inflaming passions over which we have little understanding and no control. I see Senator Tutu Tushune. Senator Byrd. Tutu Tushune. I see Mr. Tabakanine. 
Senti merge cu care se bloca. Genesis Resolution, ne cad iepți. Asta e bine să zic. Noi am as care se bloca. Ce dar o să am să ne dau? The resolution was defeated. But in the process of defeat, look what happened. He's doing the Armenian people a great disservice. Who knows? We, we may be helping to inflame passions right on this floor where too much has already been said. And too many have branded Turkey as a criminal. Too much has already been said. Women, women, Turkey or Amina Garevor, Tasha Gisel Mega, Paragamel Mega, Senator Bird, Inca Miss Estipate Cordadel, criminal. If you put Inca Gabashpane Turkian, Pasmati Balkan, Inca Cordes, genocide, massacre, criminal, murderer, he's using those words in his effort to defend Turkey. Is that a success for Turkey? Well, they're not talking about the present Republic of Turkey. They're talking about his former. I wouldn't want my grandfather to be branded a horse thief. And uh, one can understand how the present Republic of Turkey would not want its grandparents to be branded likewise. My good friend, Mr. One Trump. time or another, 61 senators agreed to co-sponsor the resolution. On the day the Judiciary Committee reported out the resolution, there were 50 co-sponsors. Today, there are 46. Why? Not to kid anybody. The history of 1915-1923 hasn't changed since last fall. The facts certainly haven't changed since last fall. But what has changed is the launching of a massive lobbying effort against the resolution by the administration, by the government of Turkey, by American businesses who operate in Turkey, and regrettably, by some private organizations and individuals who are... For three days, get it or I'm in touch. I mean genocide. I mean genocide. I mean genocide. Oh, JP, I'll see this this this not good. I mean genocide. Tayer, Paraseva Safet Sap, but it's a major Hachukutan kind of or Anantal and Rigasel Visitin, Gartazin, I mean genocide. I mean genocide. Yet the Gadi Arek for Dolo Sabor, Ungetun Masun, Masin Atatar Sap. The economic interests of certain corporations are the key to recognition of the Armenian genocide. NATO is one part of it. But McDonnell Douglas, Hughes Aircraft, companies that do business in Turkey for the Boris Tobacco Company, that's the main reason for America to defend the denial. He gets $500 million. They get a lot of benefits from us. It's not just that Turkey's helping us. Now, Turkey has a very active ambassador. He's a very fine man. I've met with him, talked to him. No quarrel about him doing his job. He's been to see every senator. But Armenia has no ambassador. They have no embassy. They don't have any contracts with any businesses in the United States. They can't put pressure on senators. It doesn't have to be a very attractive site for an American investment in Armenia, at least right now. There's lots of big American companies operate in Turkey. They put in billions in investment, and they take out millions in profits. And some of those investment dollars end up in the coffers of the Turkish government, which spends them on high-priced lobbyists who've been all over us the past few months. And some of those profits are paying for the American industry representatives who have been hammering home to many of us how important their profit margin is in Turkey. Turkey, Goliath, all the troops, all the guns, money, and an embassy, American business, lobbyists, the whole nine yards. They can all speak for Turkey and make the case for Turkey. Armenia, none of the above, nothing. A country flat on its back. Everybody in Mitch. Panasevo Ansa, Utsunyo Tabaka in Kret and Nade. Almost at the same time, a resolution passed in the European Parliament. Here's a reaction of the President of Turkey, Kenan Evren. 
general canon event right after the European Parliament passed a resolution. Where I see Europe Parliament. Bunun arkasında başka ta talepler gelecektir. Biz Panasen'in hedo, çünkü nafakalı bir kosi, Sivas, Kakimeç, Hazarhon, Türkiye'nin arşiv, yetersen inç kese. As Panasen'in yedi adı Uruş Pamla Kakası, Uruş Nubadaka. There's something behind this resolution. It's not just a genocide resolution. Bundan ne talepler geleceğini ben size söyleyeyim. Bir müddet sonra... Doğu bölgesinde, vaktiyle, tarihte Ermenistan vardı. Dilale o toprakları Ermenilere verin diyeceklerdir. Right now they're going to give a resolution. And afterwards they're going to ask for that. They're going to say that there used to be Armenia in eastern Turkey and they're going to want that land back. Sebe mu çişte? Yadi ne kadar ipet gardı? Arans, Hogayin. Yapın az egal hatsun. Without a just resolution of the Armenian question, that means monetary confrontation, territorial confrontation, if that's not going to happen, recognizing the genocide by Turkey doesn't have much value. So be careful when you hear Armenians, some of your friends, and get it, terrorists, the same word, Turkan de temiyan nerucu kontre pavarar bilirlar, ıskuş yemek. Ali pavarar bekçe yalla. E Türkan ki de var bir pavarar şey. Ve teşbak da var. Hayırlı meş. Boruş partiyi kabarayın. Bıdan kabor. Tuğlar mord. Gazit ner. Eski sazen kaydırar el. Öremin. Türkan da hakkın ama gari borek var. İnç kısa inki hovayın harcı meşter kufele. Hoş hayırlı. Now we have some advice for Armenians. Atmışlardır. Arkasından bu şekilde talep gelecektir. Ama güçleri varsa, kudretleri varsa gelsinler alsınlar. Yeti hayal hujuni, panaguni, tokran tokarbin dolayı. Türk milleti ordusu dağılmış, silahları elinden alınmış, Yurdun bütün dört tarafı işgal edilmiş haldeyken bile o muazzam devletlere karşı bağımsızlık savaşı açmış ve o savaşı bu kazmayla, kürekle, tüfekle, av tüfeğiyle kazanmış bir millettir. Şimdi... Türkiye is a country that after World War One was a country flat on its back, surrounded and occupied by Western powers and the Turkish people even though they were weak, they got up with pick and shovel and rifle, they got up and they defeated the greatest powers in the world at that time after World War One. Yeah. Uh, Եթե ութն դարերը Թուրկյան գարբացավ հաղթել հայերում եվ եվ հիս թակիր բատ բրիտն եվ վրանց եվ այս եվ այլն, այսոր հայերը թոքան ես բարսխանը գարնեմ։ But there's more than one way, there's more than one way to achieve success. It's because of these successes that the Turkish government in 1990 invited several Armenian historians to come to Ankara. Նսուտը բագալի Թուրկ Արվարջունը Ինչ ուղ հայ վիրես որոշ հայ պապաններ կիրաժողովի մասակցելու անգրայի մեջ։ Կարի որ գվախնային, որ ասպանասերները և ծույսերը, նիստերը, կիրկերը որ հարադարենք եվ այդեն, ծեր աշտադանք ուրեմ են, հաժորդի աշտադանքը Yeah, make um, Palestinian events. So, as a publicity for PR purposes, they invite Armenian historians to show that see we're democratic. We're not scared of Armenian historians. So I decided to go. Emma.
Cumhurbaşkanı Topa Cezal Kongre'de yaptığı konuşmada tarihten herkese... In Turkey, every time the president or the prime minister opens this congress, it's organized by the government, and the highest level officials go there. Here, Turkey Ozal is opening a conference. Why? Because history is so important for Turkey because they have so much to hide. Papuchuna, it is a mashak karagore, karaga parse, karagore akin. Hastalık da var, çenin zor turska var. Yani neyse ama araçta her harfi var bu çenin. Cumhurbaşkanı Rıza'lı, özellikle siyasetçilerin çok iyi bir tarih bilgisiyle teçhizinin gerekli olduğuna inancını dile getirdi. Dikkatlerimizi barışı tehdit eden bu gelişmeler üzerine toplamamıza neden olmuştur. Bütün büyük olaylar gibi şüphesiz son bir yılda gelen Başbakan Yıldırım Akbulut ve bazı bakanlarla çok sayıda ülkenin yabancı misyon şefleri de katıldı. Kongresinde altı çalışma grubunda eski çağdan bugüne Türk tarihindeki gelişmeler tartışılıyor. Çalışma grupları içinde geniş yer tutan Osmanlı tarihi altı bölümde tarihçiler Ermeni meselesi hakkında çeşitli bildirdi. Evet. Yere karı yutmasın hink hangar korzerdayın, tuhterdayın bu kadar tasvirsa. Yere karı yutmasın hink. At yere karı yutmasın hinkin mi ay hayran harci masa şeştesi mi kanyan kam ilens durerumeç. So in their news reports. They're mentioning the Armenian question several times. Önce kongreye yerli ve yabancı 347 bilim adım ve tarih yüksek misinde öğleden sonra 6 çalışma grubu halinde eski çağdan bugüne Türk tarihi tartışılmaya başlandı. Çalışma grupları eski çağ Türkiye tarihi ve bulunanlıkları, Orta Asya Türk tarihi, Orta Çağ Türk ve Türkiye tarihi, Osmanlı tarihi, Türkiye Cumhuriyeti tarihi ile Dünya Başkenti İstanbul adlı bölümleri katışıyor. Bu çalışma grubu... Nobody wants to sit next to me. Ve yine Ermeni iddialarının sınırdaki oldu. Profesör Havza Eroğlu, Profesör Cevdet Küçük, Profesör Kemal Beydeli, Profesör Fügen İlter, Yardımcı Döçen Serap Yılmaz'la Şinasi Orel ve Hüsamettin Yıldırım bu konuda kongreye birer video sundular. Konuşmacılar, Ermenilerin Osmanlı İmparatorluğu döneminde yazılı ve fiili hukukta birçok ihtiyazlara sahip. I'm the token Armenian, but nobody will sit behind me, next to me. Let's go to one of the presentations. Justin McCarthy, I don't know, America Sinaga, for a man active America Sine, who loves swimming course in match. He's the most active, the most active American academic. About in denying of the Armenian genocide. Is Tukhtin Anan there? The destruction caused by Armenians in eastern Anatolia from 1914 to I think it was 1922. I don't know. Hayrun Bolmen Godur Godurazner. That's the choice of again, Mr. Kassan Mektivagan. That's his paper. They shall just talk to him. Look at his self confidence. I think he didn't speak to him. That's the bargain in the past list that the Americans, but then it passed as in war, higher to get on charter. Passed to look at it by Mr. Niles and Mr. Sullivan, American witnesses who supposedly came to the conclusion that there was no such thing as a genocide or massacre of Armenians, that two sides killed each other, and in fact, Armenians began at first by killing Armenians, uh, Turks first, and so forth. That's his thesis. Graph, as I'll explain if anyone has a question, but I want to tell you quickly that Niles and Sutter were the only Americans who went there and actually reported what they saw and listened to the people. These are people, they both quit, obviously, near East Relief very quickly after that. And they went back, and both of them became successful lawyers. One became a professor at Harvard Law School. 
one became a judge in Baltimore, and I like to think that every once in a while, honest people prosper. Thank you. Well, 
I want to separate. I won't talk about other. I just put Niles and Southern in the about, right? They talked about some destruction happening at an early phase and much destruction happening at the end. The destruction in Vaughn. Early end to Vaganchigate. The destruction up around Bayezid and Erzurum in that area happening when the Armenians retreated. In fact, what they say, what they say is probably something that I cannot find very readily. For that area, they say, in 1917, the Russian army disbanded and left the Armenians alone in control. At this period, bands of Armenian irregulars rolled the country, blah, blah, blah. The Armenian army broke down, and all of the soldiers, regular and irregular, turned themselves to destroying Muslim on property and committing atrocities upon Muslim on inhabitants. The result is a country completely ruined, containing about one-fourth of its former population and one-eighth of its former buildings and a most bitter hatred of Muslim of Muslims for Armenians. You just proved my point. You said Armenian army in 1914. And irregulars. No, no, no, no, no, 1917. You said Armenian army. There was no Armenian army in 1917. I believe what it says is the Turkish army, the Armenian <coughs> army broke down. No, there's no Armenian army in 1917. There are, in 1917, there are armed units that call themselves Armenian. If you wish to call, you wish to say that's not the Armenian army, that's fine with me. The point. All I can say is when somebody's shooting at you and he's in an Armenian group and he's shooting you down and burning your village, you probably say the Armenian army. Well, yes, but, but the, the, the point I'm making is that that destruction you're talking about. He's trying to paint a picture that Armenians caused destruction which led to their deportation. That's what he's trying to paint. Yes, yes. yes. yes. someone else heard me make that yes. picture, yes. but I don't remember no. saying it. Uh, the, the illusion is clear. Uh, yes. I would have one comment for I you. I asked anyone to say that. I think I'll stop it here. Really. Uh, uh, uh, get out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I did nothing to do. You went out before that, before 1915. And I did anybody else. That way. And anyway, we haven't got very much time for the rest of the program. What happened here? <laughs> the earliest day he found is 1917. That's not it. There's no Armenian army until May 28, 1918. So what those, Mr. Niles and Sutherland are talking about um, um, isolated cases of revenge that Armenians took after the genocide is virtually over. And yes, Armenians did attack villages and so forth as revenge when they came back. Therefore, they sent the events and then they didn't eat by the For this branch, Borosh Dajan Abdel Ali, Adi Gapchuni, Sarah Spachon Head, Adi Mikhail Dali Hedoye, Inca Instinct of the Pereza, Urish Sevoga, Sarah Spachon Uradalo. Another way to deny the genocide is to deny the existence of the Armenians as something important. But give me this thing. El Apto Kashkarle. Even the Tsarist Council must in shape. There have been several Armenian kingdoms. There's no doubt about that. No doubt. Treaties with the Roman Empire. Please, no. It's, it's important. I have a question. I have a question. Turkish, published by the Ottoman War Academy, that their 
generals that professors use to teach their soldiers about geography. So I want her comment on, on this. Whatever the military academy says about Armenians is all wrong. By the uh, military training academy of Constantinople. And there are many myths. I have only four here. And it says, my question is, I want to ask her what she thinks of this. And I say what it is, what she thinks of this. I don't want to ask you for a minute. I'll say This atlas is stolen at UCLA, UCLA Library used to have it. It disappeared many years ago. Bu 
itibarla İsa'nın imparatorluğunda Ermeni imparatorlar vardır demek son derece yanlış. To call the visit to empire, I mean empire is very wrong.
um, uh, took you over to Gelisse. Uh, this will be Volos, Dishpagrichun, Dishpagrichunir, Serespachan, Masi. The high level of Chesterdar, Sidel, Sergeant Image, who then took you over to the Tastiana B, Serespachan Masi, Anubagioren, Inchu, Kanibor, Paraxed Nergan. It's because of resolutions and almost only because of resolutions that in Turkey, they watched us for one hour. As film, it must be a bit cheap, but I'm saying, yet a panacea Let's come to what happened in the US. Whether they accepted the facts or wanted the votes, there was now growing momentum for genocide recognition. The news was met with anger in Turkey which dispatched the cross-party delegation of MPs to lobby Congress. We told them that this was an absolutely uh, unjust, inaccurate, and uh, unfair resolution. No business of parties to pass a resolution like this. Uh, we went into... What was their response? They, a lot of them actually uh, uh, confessed and admitted that parliaments, uh, that a Congress should not be dealing with something that deals with history. The congressman may have listened to the Turkish arguments, but with the first important vote at subcommittee level approaching, those pushing genocide recognition were increasingly optimistic. I think the longer that the members of Congress heard the Turkish MPs talk about uh, the fact that in their opinion there was no genocide or this did not exist, it never happened, the more the vote swung toward uh, those of us that were wanting the, the recognition. And so in what they had hoped to be a uh, a very close vote ended up being a larger, quite a swing uh, in favor of the genocide recognition bill that we were seeking uh, as a result of the church's testimony because they, they really are in denial. The subcommittee voted in favor of the resolution, paving the way for a vote before the full Congress. I was very, uh, of course, I thought it was really pathetic that legislators who clearly had didn't even have a passport and had never traveled anywhere in their lives who were voting on something um, that they knew nothing about. On the morning of the vote, the congressmen sponsoring the bill did their final tallies. It was optimistic, the atmosphere, because uh, we then essentially were living, which means we're voting individual members and asking how they can vote. And I was convinced that we had well over 300 members on a bipartisan basis that were going to vote for this, which is a huge, maybe even two thirds majority. This bipartisan effort, Republican and Democrat, is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good After years of campaigning, it looked as if the slaughter and deportation of the Armenians was at last going to be recognized as a genocide by the legislators of the most powerful nation on earth. And then, with literally minutes left on the clock, something extraordinary happened. The vote was coming up in the evening and we were heading over with our staff to begin the debate and which would lead to this vote. And as we were walking up the steps of the Capitol, one of my staff that was going to phone call from the speaker's office. That morning, the White House caved in to Turkish pressure. President Clinton called the House Speaker and asked him to withdraw the bill. Not just Clinton. Democrat Clinton and Republican Hester both caved in because the Speaker of the House does not have to take an order from a president. Both parties together caved in, just like it happened in 1990 and other times. The arguments used, each one splits up. The same arguments. Make that picture. He cited grave national security concerns. I think Lord He believed passing the resolution could endanger American lives. What Clinton said is exactly, exactly what George Bush Sr. said in 1990 when he killed the resolution. Make that picture, Clinton, he put the South, 
Ամերիկացի ասպալի սեղը հանցնենք, ամերիկացի զինգորներ կնան զող երտ Clinton does not have that in writing. The letter he wrote to Hassert says nothing about harm coming to Americans. Yet the Telekonogras of Hassertin, terrorists. It's not written that there's a threat against American lives. That's not been revealed. So why did Hassert cave in? Did Clinton say it on the phone? What did you about? The State Department issued a, a warning to Americans to stay away from uh, places where there are a lot of Turks. We'll see historians in the future to see if that was a real State Department uh, release or was it a cover, was it fake? We'll find out many years uh, later whether that was uh, true or not. But when Clinton, when the president says that American lives might be in danger, that's when Dennis Hassert and others join him in killing the resolution. By the time we got to the top of the stairs into the house chamber, they were already into other business. And your genocide resolution was gone. There we go. So what exactly scared the leader of the free world? <laughs> The answer lies in the dangerous politics of the Middle East. Here, the Turks are allies who provide air bases vital for patrolling the skies over Saddam Hussein's Iraq. So what was it you think was said by the Turkish government to make them say great? Well, I, I, I just believe they want to say that uh, it was really one who said. Um, 
attention in Turkey. It's because of everything that we do, you do, every year and throughout the year in recognizing the genocide, whether it's demonstrations, writing things, uh, and especially resolutions. Without that, without genocide resolutions, without the other activity, we would not have several Turkish historians today who admit the genocide. Taleb Akjam, Halil Bertay, and a couple of others. A new person now, Kemal Yalçın. Inchu as Turkera, Kuntun in Senas Parachina. Inchu, Kanebon, Irem Azabesan, Almugen, Ir Abuchi Hane, Ir Motsu Asarsa. Ir Abuka, I can't take a shanaki, a meta cornaka, because Asparta, under Kaisake, Hosai. New York City, you're next. Oh, God. Let's leave New York City. This is a program on C SPAN. This is a program on C SPAN about Turkey. Did we get a job in? I said, Turk Hosome. What the Europeans want to see is, uh, is for the Turkish government and the Turkish state to treat its minorities fairly. And in this particular case, we're talking about the Kurdish minority because there are very few Armenians left in, in, in Turkey. So as far as Europe is concerned, uh, the analogy doesn't apply. I mean, it doesn't see, Europe doesn't want Turkey to apologize for X or for Y, but it just wants uh, Turkey to treat its, its citizens, all its citizens, not just its Kurdish citizens, much more fairly and in a much more democratic way. Mambros, California. This whole program was intended to make Turkey look good. Most of it was succeeding until a few questions came raising the Armenian genocide. And one of them is from Gaizak Shahbazian from Gazeta I saw Nergaya. I have a question uh, regarding the Armenian genocide in the beginning of this century. Uh, all we know that the Armenian has been massacred and killed by the Ottoman Empire between 1915 and 1923. One and a half million people have been killed, all because of their uprising and they were asking for their autonomy in the eastern part of Turkey. I don't know if Turkey, how come, if it uh, recognizes itself as a democratic country, how come cannot recognize that genocide. And are you Armenian, sir? Yes. Yeah. My father? Are you Armenian? Yes, I'm Armenian. Yes, I'm Armenian. Of course, Mr. Brando. <laughs> <laughs> The Armenian issue is, is something that goes to the heart of, uh, of the modern Turkish Republic. The, Turk, the Turks have always claimed that. Did you already said? Yeah. The Armenian genocide, the Armenian question goes to the heart of the Turkish Republic. What Turkey is today is shaped by the Armenian genocide more than anything else. Uh, commit any of those massacres that there were in fact conflicts between Armenians and, and Turks in, in the East. The, the fact of the matter is that a lot of Armenians were killed. We don't know exactly what happened in the sense that there hasn't been any serious attempt on the part of the Turks especially to look into the, into the events of those of that time. But I think things are changing in Turkey. I mean there's a much more there's much greater debate in Turkey about this issue. That a lot of academics have taken certain posi uh, positions that have been very unpopular in the Turkish press. Inchu, <laughs> If one person can make a big difference in front of millions of people, just like picking up the telephone, I make ordinary and the police are not ordinary to us. But then, by kind of big issue, I feel, can I think of, can I do it? Shashra Dhanu. Thank you.
Parkeri Profesör ve Gönül Gomez Polis Radar Kine Dayanı Seraj Şat Şahit'ten Asakosu'dan anlarken. Eras Kahabarde Urenalov Tezi Duman Kidakits Yev Adrasını Bats Yerdasar Müşer. Dırgın şunlara da düşün. Urakın Haydaralu Örmeneç Kırkınay Sor Kremdeli Kahabet Baron Kuvav Yusufyan Yev Kalender Kalıcı Yokopar Sütyan Antam Baron Ara Macaryan. Հաճարաջ մեր հել հայդակիր են թուրս էլ անք, այսոր ուրեմ են, իտի հրապիր են, մերաբակաս շերուն ներգայեց, սերունդ ու ներգայեց շլող Հայոքնության, Վիության, Շապատորյան, Վարժարան, Հաճախով, Ըվերյան, Մանգյանը, Oh. 
Toxide ortam burguze. Aha çıkarca hasnil bir nevadaki. Açmenk bir de hasnil vermasisin ver aradaki. Ajun hem garagirin digin arus şak ve koryan asmin kelu şak hatopiyani ayoki. Kimsen digin. Kevanor Araradyan 
The genocide perpetrated by the Turkish Ottoman Empire took place from 1915 to 1923. And 89 years later, we still have events to not only commemorate this tragedy, but to also recognize and hopefully one day gain our reparations, which include our homeland. In the next few scenes, the AYC Youth and Junior Committees will present a past and present overview of the events surrounding the Armenian Genocide. The future of the Armenians is in the hands of the youth, and to ensure the everlasting beauty and history of our people, we must keep the fire burning in the hearts of our youth. We dedicate this presentation to the martyrs of the Armenian Genocide. We will never forget.
Thank you. 